The Osprey is back in the air after being grounded for months following a crash last November that killed eight U.S. service members in Japan, but there are still questions as to whether it should be. The complicated aircraft flies fast like a plane but converts to land like a helicopter, and even minor mistakes can turn deadly. Experts say it can struggle to maintain the lift needed to fly like a helicopter. The Associated Press has found that safety issues have increased in the past five years and the design of the aircraft is contributing to many of the accidents. Yet Osprey pilots are some of its greatest defenders because it can fly where others can't to rescue troops. Wow, Osprey's crashing now. It's it's because these aircraft are getting old. And problems are starting to emerge that to a certain extent were baked in when the aircraft was designed, but are inherent issues with the design that are emerging as time goes on. Whenever you lose somebody, um, you'll try to get everyone together and, and create something so you always remember them. It's in a place that we see every day. This this platform is not routine, right? We, this is a complex platform because we are special operations uh, and we operate out in the extreme environments and um, that's what our country calls us to do and so we need a platform that allows us to do those things. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says the U.S. has authorized aid and assistance for people affected by Typhoon Mani and five previous storms that struck the Philippines. I've authorized U.S. forces to provide support to respond to the super typhoon. We've also secured another $1 million in urgent humanitarian aid. That will help surge aid to the Philippine people, Austin said on Monday in Manila. Typhoon Mani left at least three villagers missing, destroyed houses, knocked out power in entire towns and displaced large numbers of villagers before blowing away from the northern Philippines, worsening the crisis wreaked by five previous storms, officials said Monday. Mani was one of the strongest of the six major storms to hit the northern Philippines in less than a month and had sustained winds of up to 195 km per hour when it slammed into the eastern island province of Catanduanes on Saturday night. Austin commented while taking part in a groundbreaking for the Combined Coordination Center for the U.S. and Philippine militaries. This center will enable real-time information sharing for our common operating picture. It will help boost interoperability for many, many years to come. And it will be a place where our forces can work side by side to respond to regional challenge, Austin said. I mentioned earlier today, I recognize that uh, just yesterday we had yet another horrific storm that uh, come through. Uh, and our 
thoughts, prayers, and condolences are with the people uh, who have been disadvantaged because of not only this storm, but the five storms that preceded uh, this last storm. And I'd authorize U.S. forces to provide uh, direct support to respond to uh, the super typhoon. And we also secured another million dollars in urgent humanitarian aid. That will help surge uh, aid to the Philippine people. This center will enable real-time information sharing for a, a common operating picture. It will help boost interoperability for many, many years to come. And it will be a place where our forces can work side by side to respond to President Marcos has repeated it several times that the United States' presence in the Indo-Pacific region is essential for maintaining peace and stability in this region. 